Now California's drought, the lack of rain has taken its toll on plants. It has caused farmers to drop crop production, and it doesn't leave that many places for honeybees to look for food. Action News reporter Phil Gomez is live from Santa Cruz with more on the impact. Phil? Well, Dan, billions of bees are needed to pollinate crops around the state, and honeybees are now the latest victim in this ongoing drought. Not only has the three-year drought wreaked havoc in California's water supply, but it's also causing supplies of California honey to decrease, making it harder for beekeepers to work like Watsonville's Bob Miller. He's got hives scattered around the Central Coast and Central Valley. It's really hurting. That's, you know, a lot of income that we're not getting. The work's still there. Mm -hmm. You still got to feed the bees, you got to move them around, got to pollinate the crops, keep out of harm's way. And this is a tough pill to swallow, since bee pollination brings in half his income. The other half comes from honey sales. Put the honey crop down, you know, to 10 percent. You know, that's a 90 percent loss in the honey part of the income, which is normally half of our yearly income. Like many beekeepers, Miller is feeding his bees a lot more sugar syrup than usual to compensate for the lack of nectar. The supplemental feed keeps the bees alive, but it is expensive and doesn't produce honey. It's very expensive. Sugar syrup's about four dollars a gallon, and we just bought a tanker load. Sixteen thousand dollars for a tanker load, and that'll be gone in two months. And this just simply gets placed inside. Elaine Meeks processes and markets honey around the country. There are many varieties of honey that are missing from shelves, like sage, buckwheat, and eucalyptus honey. And because honey in California is hard to come by, she must relabel her stock when she ships it. I've expanded my resources to go beyond California to find honey. Um, I'm getting some honey now from the Midwest uh, because I really can't find the local sources I used to. And it could all turn around again. I, I don't know that we really know what we're up against yet. So the drought is worsening in a worldwide shortage of honey that has pushed prices to an all-time high. Over the past eight years, the average retail price for honey has increased 65 percent. Dan? Mm. All right. Thank you very much. The drought is uh, just the latest blow to honeybees. Uh, in recent years, bee populations have been decimated by pesticides, parasites, the collapse of colony, what they call colony collapse disorder. That's a mysterious phenomenon in which the worker bees suddenly take off.